This is a video demonstration of the HMV102 gramophone. The winding handle fits into the slot on the side, so I just wind it up. When it's fully wound up you'll feel some resistance on the handle so you won't be able to wind it up any further. I'll just go through the controls with you. This here is your speed. Um, it's just marked 78 slow fast. Obviously it only plays 78 speeds so really you haven't got to alter that. It's just, I think it's just designed for if you've got a slightly warped record um, or you want to change the pitch very slightly. This here is your manual brake uh, which will stop and start the turntable um, when the auto brake is switched to off just stops and starts it. To use the auto brake first of all turn the auto brake on there you have this little switch it says auto brake off on and what that does is it starts the turntable automatically when you bring the needle arm over like this yeah, after you've released the, the manual brake when it gets to the end it stops and when it gets to the start it starts again ok so I'll just demonstrate with the start of a record so that you can hear it play so it switches off by itself um, then if you want it to just run down if you can turn the manual brake off uh, you can just use it using the, the manual brake to stop and start it 
um, or obviously if you want to play another record um, you switch the manual brake back on and then it will start turning again when it gets to the start and switch off again. Uh, to change the needle simply just loosen the screw here and it just comes out. Uh, the sound box will be fixed in place but if you did want to remove it it just comes off and just pushes back on and locks into position. There's a little pouch here for storing needle tins and the handle fits in this socket here if you want to put it there and there's also a little compartment at the front where you can store needles as well. I'm not sure if you can see on here, there's, just, there's a little scuff on the lid just there um, probably looks worse with the, the light shining on it um, but no other real damage, just a patina of age um, obviously this one's 1946 so it is very old so you would expect some minor wear to it um, I'll just turn it round all the chrome works good, the inside's very good um, as you can see no real damage just normal what you'd expect 